I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise random pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in the tiles because that's the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this exercise three times. So we'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. We have jokers, flower, red dragon, pair of white dragons, eight, nine in cracks, one, seven in bands, one, three, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? these were my tiles, I would start here with these three dragon. Maybe we can do something with like numbers and dragons. Maybe we could play little odds. And I would stop there. And these would be the discards. So I would focus on the multiples. And I wouldn't pick a hand, but we could maybe do little odds or like numbers. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull one in the comment section below the video and let me know what you would do with these tiles. Joker, east, west, green, five, eight crack, pair, two, five, eight, nine in dots, one, four in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? Since American Mahjong is a game of multiples, I would start here, eight crack pair. With the eight crack, we could maybe play something consecutive, so I'd probably hold the nine. We might be able to do something with evens, two, four, six, eight. We have no six, but we also have just a very short run. Maybe we could do east and west with Kongs, eight, nine. Those would be the discards. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below the video and let me know what you would do with these tiles. We have a joker, flower, one, three, five, pair, one, pair, three, two, four, six, eight in dots, three, four, six in cracks, one, three, five, bams, bams, dots, cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? When I first saw these tiles, I immediately saw two, four, six, eight, and one suit. And it sure looks pretty. 
We even have a 4-6 in cracks, but American Mahjong is a game of multiples. So I would start here, leverage the pairs. We might be able to do something consecutive. So I would probably hold three, four, five, three, three, five, three, four, two, three, four. We have like numbers there. I would think about what I might pass. So probably six, three, four. It's probably six, one half dozen the other here. Maybe let that go past four, six, eight or something like that. I would hold one, three, five ideally, and then threes for one, three, five little odds. And if consecutive tiles come in, one, two, three, four. If you would do something differently with these tiles, right? Pull three and let me know what you would do with these tiles in the comment section below the video. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles. I like to arrange them in this order. Jokers, flowers, winds, dragons, then the suited tiles in numerical order. That'll give you the initial lay of the land. Identify the strength in the tiles and then target the strength. In American Mahjong, if you have multiples, start there. Target the multiples. Every hand on the card requires multiples. So if you let the multiples drive your hand, you're gonna optimize your winning potential. If you don't have multiples, target the predominant pattern until a multiple forms. Then reassess targeting the multiple. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.